Today is the fourth day of the blessed month of Baramhat. May God begin it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren. Amen. On this day, a holy council convened on the island of Beni Omar against those people called the Florentinians. They celebrated the Feast of the Holy Resurrection with the Jews on the 14th of the month of Nisan, regardless what day of the week it fell on. The bishop of the island excommunicated them and sent to Serbia the Patriarch of Antioch, Democritus, Archbishop of Rome, Demetrius, Patriarch of Alexandria, Symmachus, Patriarch of Jerusalem, to inform them of the heresy of these people. Each one of them sent an epistle indicating in it that the Feast of Resurrection was only to be celebrated on the Sunday that follows the Feast of the Jews, in order to excommunicate everyone that contradict and disobeyed that. This council of 18 bishops convened, and the epistles of the fathers, the patriarchs, were read to them. Some of them returned from their erroneous opinion, and the others insisted on their error. They excommunicated them from the fellowship of the Holy Church. Also, they decided to celebrate the Feast of Resurrection as the order of the Holy Apostles, who said, Anyone that celebrates the Feast of Resurrection on any day other than Sunday had shared the Jews in their feasts and separated himself from the Christians. May the Lord confirm us in the Orthodox faith, which the Holy Apostles handed down to us. The blessing of their prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, St. Hanelius the Prince was martyred during the reign of Diocletian. A saint was born in the city of Perga in Pamphylia to Christian parents who brought him up with a true Christian upbringing. He loved the Lord and strived in worship and piety. He was the prince of the city of Perga. When Emperor Diocletian heard that he was a Christian, he sent to Barnabas the governor, ordering him to arrest the saint. When he stood before the governor, he declared his Christian faith. The prince, the prince became angry and ordered him crucified. However, the Lord comforted and strengthened him, and finally he departed in peace and received the crown of martyrdom. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Mm-hmm.